What's going on, YouTube? Gene's here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part 16 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So, guys, in the last episode, we completed the Galactic Warehouse and made our way up Mount Coronet. And in today's video, we're going to be catching our box legendary, which is Dialga, and heading towards the 8th gym. So, if you guys are hyped, Make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. And thank you to everybody who's been enjoying this playthrough. I've been loving doing this playthrough and been loving doing all Pokemon BDSP content. So seriously, shout out to all you guys. But we are at the top of the peak right here. We just got to battle a few more Galactic Runs and then we can face off with the Outland. I came prepared. I came prepared. I got a bunch of Ultra Balls ready to go. Hopefully we get to be able to catch it. Get done with that and then make our way towards the atrium. That's exactly what I'm planning to do in today's video. Complete the route, all that good stuff. So in the next episode, we can actually defeat the eighth gym and then make our way towards the Elite Four or Victory Road. However you guys want to see it. However you guys want to say it. But he's looking pretty spiffy here. I could just actually drop an EQ, but it won't affect the what's it called. It will not affect the desktop. So I might just go into a razor leaf. You know, just do that and just have Frost Last whip up a nice little ice beam. Ooh. I wish we had a little uh an ether or something. We are low on the PP for Frost Last, so we might have to swap him out. Because I've been trying to level up my boy Frost Last in that past video. We were using him a lot in the in the video before this. So maybe we might be time to swap him out. Because we have like no moves left for him. But it's all good. Sunky's going to use Nice Slash on us. Our team's just tanking up these hits all day. These Galactic Grunts have doo-doo Pokemon. They do nothing. They do nothing. This thing really just set up a Light Screen. I give him props. Light Screen's a cool move. I'm going to drop a Razor Leaf here. And I think I'm just going to Ice Beam across onto his Stunky. And then eventually swap Frost Eyes after his battle. Maybe give Floats my front spot or Shiny Houndoom. Definitely not Tokus or Torterra. They're my highest levels. And Torterra is going to get plenty of use in the 8th gym considering it is an electric gym. And he's ground type. He's just going to be able to run it with a bunch of EQs. So Torterra, we might have to put him in the back end. We definitely got to put Torterra in the back end. But basically he's going to pop out here, take out their lovely little Dust Tox. And we're going to get rolled. Actually, they have two more Pokemon. And did I fall in love? Oh, I had like a little, it did like a little shout thing. I don't, I, I don't even know what it did. I, to be honest, I just saw a heart pop up. I was like, yo, did we fall in love with us, Tox? And we killed our lover? Or Terra, you dirty dog, killing your loved ones. <laughs> He's going to send out Glammy out. And I could EQ, but like, I feel like I would do too much damage to my, uh, to my Frost Lance over here. So, I don't know. Do I just go into that and just maybe just swap? We can do some big damage with that. Like, EQ popping out here? I'm thinking maybe we can pick up the double kill. So, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Because I don't want to go into an EQ and just body up on my Frost Lance. That would be hilarious, but not cool at the same time. Not cool at the same time. But Togate's going to pop out here. This thing goes for Sucker Punch onto us, and we dodge it because, you know, we weren't using the move. But there goes my EQ, and beautiful double kill. Worked out perfectly, just exactly how I wanted it to be. But um, as you guys know, I've been uh, uploading a lot of BDSP ranked doubles battles. Or not ranked doubles battles, competitive VGC double battles for this game. And I've been having a blast with them. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying that. But if you guys want to actually send me teams, you guys can send me Pokey Pace of teams. And I can probably finizzle with that team and make it for you guys. So, if you guys have Pokey Pace of BDSP doubles teams, send them in the chat. Send them in the comment section. Comment section down below will work, or in my Instagram DMs, which is legit right on my uh, layout. But either or works. So if you guys have done Poke Pace or have cool teams that you guys want to show me, send the Poke Pace. I would absolutely love to get you guys a Poke Pace. But before we actually move on here, I want to go switch my Pokemon. And did we get Frost Last top spot? We could give it the Houndoom. Houndoom we need too shabbier. Now let's give it the let's give it the uh, my girl Floatzel. Let's do my girl Floatzel, or it's Guy form, but I just always see uh, Floatzel as a as a girl, you know. It's just, it is what it is. But we make our way to the top part of this little pillar here. And all three main people of Team Galactic. You got Cyrus the boss. You got Jupiter and Mars. I love the names. I love the names. It's sick. But he's right here. And I think he summons the other, right? How does that work? He, like, summons this thing. And, yo, this cutscene is sick. This is a sick cutscene. I got to give the Pokemon Company prop for this cutscene. Like, the way that they, they make the outlet look is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Like, yo, like, what? looks so sick that thing looks nasty dude and that's just a great cutscene that is just a great way to introduce this box legendary like th there's a perfect picture of it there's a perfect picture of that like look at that yo he's got like the gemstones floating around him and a crisscross with like a dark aurora bouncing around him and his design just looks amazing in this game the graphics on him look perfect they really do 
but I, I actually remember this like kind of like design going around on the DS and it, this, this just looks so much better. Like, I remember when looking on the DS, I was like, oh, that looks pretty sick. But now looking back on it, it's like, dude, that actually looks horrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> but the graphics just changed so much. But the Alka is out and about. And do I have to battle these guys? Do I have to battle all these guys? I totally forget. I know I already did this. But let's see. I think I might have to. Was this a double battle? Yeah, and then, yeah, Barry comes. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha. So, it's a double battle. Barry comes. He's like, hey, yo, jeans. Let me help you out. I'm just like, I really don't need your help, but sure, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Jupiter Mars comes out here, and we have a big 6v6 battle here. I got my girl Floatzel ready to chill, and they just throw out double bronze or Like, what? Like, what kind of synergy is that? What kind of synergy is that? And Barry? God dang it, Barry. Evolve your Munchlax, dude. Evolve your Munchlax. But we do have Aqua Tail with this Pokemon. And Aqua Tail is pretty good. It's probably our hardest hit. I think it might be our hardest hitting physical water move that she does. Which is great. She's going to pop a Confuse Ray. It's going to go into my Floatzel. Son of a biscuit. Not my poor Floatzel. Not my poor Floatzel. Not that poor Floatzel. This thing's going to set up a Reflect. It's all good. We chilling. We are chilling here. Wait, it's going to pop from Munchlax. Yeah, get it, Munchlax. Get Munchlax. Come on, man. Giving him a free focus ash. You're better than that. You're better than that. I'm going to go into a uh, Aquatail onto this Bronzor and hope that Munchlax slides across and finishes that Bronzor off. And we do land our Aquatail. Awesome. Confuse, confusion was no problem for our lovely little sea otter. River otter? What kind of otter? It's, a, it's an otter for sure, but I don't think it's a sea otter, you know? It seems more like a river otter. <laughs> you guys know more than me, but I actually want to know. So if somebody knows what kind of otter Ford and Buizel is, let me know in the comment section down below. This is so sick. I so sick. I, I like otters as uh, animals in general. I think they're so such cool animals. They're just awesome, especially sea otters. Sea otters are just sick. They're really cool all around. I'm going to drop a swift here. Just do a little bit of damage on the bronzer to the right and finish off the bronzer on the left. It is a double hitting move for doubles. That's dope, dope, dope. But yeah, otters in general, awesome. Like, like I went to an aquarium before. Actually, they're in like the aquarium Enzu. It really depends. It really depends which one you go to, but... At the aquarium where I'm at, they have sea otters. And they are so sick. They have a little exhibit for them. And they're just like jumping off, you know, swimming under the waters, doing some crazy cool fast stuff. I'm a big fan of them. I'm a big fan of penguins too. I absolutely love penguins. So if there's a penguin exhibit wherever I go, you can catch me there. You can catch me there. I absolutely love good old penguin. Elephants are top tier for my animals. I think those are my top three. Otters, penguins, and elephants. But I also do like some reptiles like frogs. I think frogs are pretty sick. And turtles, and I'm a big fan of turtles. Turtles are cool. But yeah, top three are definitely otters, penguins, and elephants for your boy jeans. For your boy jeans. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love how we just have like cool conversations, even on YouTube channel. Like I know you guys aren't talking to me back and forth, but you guys also leave some cool comments. So I absolutely love talking to you guys through YouTube and all that good stuff. And if you guys want to talk to me more, we go live about five plus days every single week. Live over on Twitch, Jeans25 on Twitch. Uh, link is down in the description below, and the name is right on my face cam. So if you guys want to go check me out, hit that follow button, turn on notifications, come hang out with us. We get a good group going over there. We do viewer battles, we do viewer trades, and we just hang out and talk all things Pokemon and have some funny conversations. We really do. We, we had some good arguments last time. Last stream, I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of what happened in last stream. We were arguing about does a straw have one hole all the way through or two holes? You guys can decide. Actually, I know my answer. It has one hole. And it's one hole. And if you say two holes, get out my face. Get on out my face. I'm not dealing with you. But yeah, it was funny. It was just funny the way everything happened. But we missed our attack. Hercules coming over here with Body Slam and takes out the poor Munchlax. Takes out the poor Munchlax. Does Barry have another Pokemon? I sure hope so. So I'm not taking these Pokemon on 1v6 unless I can bring out my uh, Torterra. That'll probably be my best bet. That'll probably be my best bet. But let's see how this one plays out. Reflect wears off. That's why I was doing so little damage. And Star Raptor's gonna pop. Now, now we're talking, Barry. You got our Pokemon who can actually do some damage. With Intimidate, which is huge. Both these guys are physical attackers. Actually, it's perfectly Defiant. I know it does learn Defiant, but this one's not. Doesn't have Defiant. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna go for a Waterfall here. Aqua Tail has a higher chance of missing. Like you guys just saw, we missed our Aqua Tail. We bring that thing down the red, and of course, this thing's rocking with the berry. Is that citrus? Is that a tasty little yellow citrus berry? So I'm not about it if it's tasty little yellow citrus berry. Body slam pokes. Just chipping up on me. Go after Purgly. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Go after Purgly. I could have finished that one off next turn. I could have finished that one off next turn. His defense drops. But, yo, I, that's what I absolutely hate about doing double battles with, like, the, the computers in this game. Is they always go after, like, the wrong Pokemon. 
Like, they'll hit somebody with a close combat. Like, I'm not saying the Star Raptor did it this time, but they'll usually hit somebody with, like, a close combat or a big hitting move when they're on, like, one HP. It's like, come on, yo. Hit the other guy. I can finish off the other one. If you're going for a big move, make sure you get your damage value out of it. But he's going to send out a Golbat. And I think I'm ready to swap. I think I might be ready to swap. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll let Floats go out here. I'm just going to send an Aqua Tail. Hope it connects. Hopefully, he'll drop a close combat onto the uh, Perkly here. But watch. I bet she goes after Golbat. Watch this. Watch. Watch him. I think it takes out my Floatzel. Nope, Floatzel survives, but Poison's going to take me out. He's going to pluck. All right, I can get down with a pluck on the Golbat. That was a good play. I'll give it to him. He heard me. He was just like, oh, you want to see a good play, Jeans? I'm going to pluck over here and finish off this Pokemon. <laughs> but Floatzel's going to drop down the Poison damage here. Rest easy, Floatzel. Rest easy. Don't worry. I'll heal you up. I'll heal you up later. Oh, poor Floatzel. Poor Floatzel. But uh, let's get in our, uh, let's get in our shiny, shiny hound him out here. Love this Pokemon. Flex on these trainers. Yeah, yo, I got a shiny one. I got a shiny one. Dope, dope, dope. Love me some Houndoom. We can come over here with a flamethrower. And I hate how he doesn't send out another Pokemon. Like, he has two left. Of course, Perkly outspeeds both of us and she digs away, so she just wastes a turn. But of course, like, uh... Like, I don't understand why she can't throw out both Pokemon. We have to take out one, wait for her to throw out another one, and then take out the other one. It's just a pain. It's just a pain, but we're gonna rock out with a flamethrower. Get ripping on these things. And this thing has Quick Claw. And it's going to miss. Come on, yo. The Quick Claw came in at the wrong time. This thing's going to dig on me. Yeah, I'm going to do some damage. But we soak. We soak. Because, you know, it ain't competitive. And this thing ain't, ain't that strong. It ain't that strong. Flame Thrower pokes out here. It's not going to be able to pick up a KO here. Star Raptor, can you finish this thing off? If this thing digs again, I'm going to be a little upset. Okay, body slam. Cool. Goes after Raptor. Raptor soaks. And drop a close combat. It's paralyzed, man. <laughs> this is perfectly giving me a tough time. And Perkly is actually a really good competitive Pokemon. It learns Defiant, which is phenomenal because Intimidate is such a big factor. But it also hits hard and its speed is through the roof. That I, I did not know that. Its speed is phenomenal. So Raptor's going to come over here with a close combat. That should be able to finish it off. Yeah, cool. So he has one more Pokemon. Hopefully it's something easy. Hopefully it's something light we can just like trash on in one shot. Because I'm really not trying to waste my time battling all these trainers, man. Like I said, I want to hit here and then I want to go do the route. I want to go do the route. Actually, we might be able to finish up the route in the next episode. But I definitely want to make it there and get started with it. That's my play. That's my play. But we're going to go here. I'm just going to drop a flamethrower on this thing. I can do a decent amount of damage onto him. And Star Raptor should be able to either pluck or close combat and finish off this uh, this gold bat. Go ahead, Star Raptor. Do him dirty. Poison Fang's going to poke. Don't kill it. God dang it, yo. Wasting our time. Wasting my precious time. He's going to throw out Infernape. Infernape's looking sick. I love that Pokeball came out of a nice little fire Pokeball, but I think my Houndoom out speeds. Nope. Infernoom's really quick. And Flame Wheels should be able to finish it off. Beautiful. Get him on out my face. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. But there we go. We get all the levels. We get all the XP. Beautiful. Lovely. Let's see what we do after this. I don't think we have to fight Cyrus. I always forget. I really do always forget. But I'm pretty sure Barry heals up her Pokemon. So we should be thriving here. And no way. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! I was actually going to dedicate, like, the next episode to Evolving Rylou. I was going to dedicate the next episode to Evolving Rylou because I know it needed friendly levels. But, hey, we take this all day, yo. Random friendly evolution. Loving it. Lucario has evolved. Well, not Lucario has evolved. Rylou has evolved in Lucario. Finally, and yo, dude, look at the team. Look at the team. Aurora Spirit wants to come out here. And, yes, you are definitely learning that move. You are definitely learning because I think it's special, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to make this thing a special build because it is modest. So we definitely going to make this thing a special build. We're going to go with this. Probably like Flash Cannon, something along those lines, and just roll off from there. But yo, look at our team preview. Look how tough our team looks. If you guys have been watching since uh, video one, you guys know since the beginning, I was saying we have a sick team lineup for you guys. And here it is. This team is so sick. It's one of my, it's one of my favorite playthrough teams that I did. It just works all around. We have a bunch of different types. We have the ground. We have the grass. We have the water. We have the flying. We have the fairy, the dark, the fire, the ice, the ghost. And now we have the steel and fighting. Just so versatile. So versatile. But yo, y'all could chill on us, man. It looks so sick. It looks so sick. But we got to catch this guy. And in my actual playthrough, I caught him in one Pokeball. So I'm kind of hoping we can do that this time. But look at that. Uxie and all them. They come over here. They pop out, and I forget what they do. They kind of just pop out and look cool. But honestly, I didn't really like Uxi as self and Mesprint when I was really young. But now I really like them. I think they're really cool Pokemon. They're really cool legendaries, especially paired up with Palkia and Dialga. 
But look at that. They break the chains and all that stuff. And the Alga is free. The Alga is free. Or Palkia, whichever game you're playing. <laughs> and then they disappear. Which still makes no sense to me of how they got captured if they could teleport like that. But yeah, look at her reaction. Like, what? And Mess Sprint is chilling. Hi, Mess Sprint. How you doing? How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, she disappeared. But now we're just looking in the face of a dragon. Look, look at this thing. Like, how our Pokemon trainers are like this? They're just like, yeah, I'm going to go battle that thing. Like, I'd look at it and be like, yeah, I'm out of here. Someone else can deal with that. Someone else can deal with that. Because look at that thing. It's enormous. And we are fighting this guy again, aren't we? God dang it, dude. So many. I didn't realize how many battles there were leading up to Dialga. That's pretty nutty. That's pretty nutty. But he only has four Pokemon. We should be able to run him pretty well. And I think our Pokemon got fully healed up, right? If my... It said I had six, so... I'm guessing they did. Yep, Floatzel's back to full health. Beautiful. Lovely. Gotta love it. And we're going up against Hodgecrow. Hodgecrow is so sick. I love how it looks like he's wearing a hat. I do dig it. I do dig it. We do outspeed. Maybe we get a flinch, but we should be able to just two-tap this Pokemon. There's one. Give me a flinch. And he should get the fob. Which does nothing. It does nothing here. Well, it will drop my evasiveness, but... Other than that, it doesn't, like, clear any stat changes or anything. That's fine. We'll just go for a waterfall here. Send it. Yay! Honchkrow, get on out of here. Even though I love you. I love Honchkrow. If you guys watch my stream playthrough, we called him Big Honch. Big Honch, dude. <laughs> Daddy Honch, dude. I love Honchkrow. He's so cool. Well, let's switch Pokemon. We have our Frost Lights out. And yo, we have our Lucario. But he, he's low level. We'll, we'll probably use him uh, later. Maybe on the next route. Because you know the route trainers are a little weaker than these uh, Team Galactic guys. Team Galactic bosses. So we'll probably use him on the route in the next episode and get him, get him up to par with the squad. But I'm actually so thankful that he actually evolved without us doing like the puffins and everything. Because you guys know Togetic was an absolute pain. Was an absolute pain to evolve. I gave it puffins. I was running around with it. I was constantly battling with it. Thank the Lord Rylu just evolved. Just randomly. I wasn't even expecting. I was sitting there. I was like, yo, I was just like, wait, what's happening? And then I saw his evolve. Like, yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's go. Wakam Berry was used up. Garrett is going to send out a crunch. Ooh, that's a little scary. Frost Lass eats. That a girl. That a girl, Frost Lass. That a girl. He both comes out here. Should be able to finish this off pretty easily. Yes, sir. Four times super effective. Get on out of here, Garrett And the best part about versing it, uh, the boss like this is he gets out tons of, tons of XP with these Pokemon. Like, look at that. Everybody getting levels. Frost Lass wants to learn will o -Wisp, and That's actually a good move. Do I give it to him? No, we do not. The only other move I want would be uh, Shadow Ball. Pretty much Shadow Ball. Actually, I could get rid of Frost Breath. Could get rid of Frost Breath, which I might do. That's always a crit, though. Hmm. You know what? No, we're not gonna learn Will O Wisp. We're never gonna use it. Actually, I am gonna. I am gonna get Will O Wisp. Will O Wisp is so good, especially for the Elite Four. We're definitely gonna be taking up on this opportunity here. We're definitely gonna be taking up on this opportunity because our our big Ice Stab move is going to be Ice Beam. Bone Rush, this guy wants to learn, and I'm going to keep all moves because we have ground with Torterra, and we're fine with it. Weavile's going to come out here, and I'm going to switch into my lovely little Houndoom, and just get rolling out from here. But yeah, I absolutely love this uh, Frost Lass, this moveset. Once we get Shadow Ball, and I think I'll get Shadow Ball maybe in the next episode, because I know exactly where TM is at, but it's in like a foggy area, so I still got to get the fog, still got to do all that stuff, so. Once we get Shadow Ball, I am going to like this thing's moveset. Ice Beam, it's going to be Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt we're keeping. And then I don't know if I want to uh, keep uh, will o -Wisp. I thought I had a fourth move in mind, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Let's sing Diggs, and he's just going to hit us with Dig. We should be able to eat up. It's not sad. Yes, sir. Houndoom soaking that up, bringing us down to the red. And Flamethrower should just be able to jump on this Pokemon, no problem. Unless it's Focus Sash. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing's holding an item. Oh, we, what? This thing eats. This thing eats, and we're going to go down here. We're going to go down here. This thing digs again. I could swap. I might swap into Togi. Might be my play. Keep my boy alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to, he wants to dig. He wants to dig and do that stuff. Two can play that game. Two can play that game, yo. He doesn't realize he's he's versing up against the best competitive doubles Pokemon player to ever exist. The jeans right here. <laughs> but he misses. Plans works in working successfully. And he's gonna use a suit a super push for 50 HP. You dead, dude. You dead. This Dazzle Gleam gonna do you dirty. This Dazzle Gleam gonna do you dirty. Get him on out of here. Weavile's sick, dude. I love me some Weavile. Especially in competitives. I've been using him a lot on my team. It's just so good. It has speed control with Icy Wind. It has fake out control because 
lunch takeout it's just super fast it's like a truck too it's like a truck retire once learn giga drain and of course of course you can learn giga drain get rid of mega drain we don't need this anymore we do not need this even though i really don't want giga drain as a move because he's physical attacking i think i'd rather have like wood hammer wood hammer could be really good i could switch back into frost last or should i yeah we're gonna switch back into frost last we can just ice beam this thing and the thing is actually frost last might go down here I think Crobat's gonna be able to outspeed. I think Crobat outspeeds us. And does me a little dirty. And does me a little dirty here. But we'll see. If he goes down, he goes down. It's chilling. Let's go, Frostlass. Do him dirty. Hit him with his ice beam. Yep, Crobat outspeeds. All day. Crobat's a, a fast Pokemon. And but Frostlass. Soaking up the hits. Soaking him up. Look at that. Ice beam flies through. Big old damage, but he'll take us out next turn. I'll just move my mic up a little bit. Get it closer to this beautiful voice of mine. And we're going uh, to go down here. I don't feel like swapping. I really don't feel like swapping. He's going to go for an air cutter. Bye, Frost Last. Thanks for coming. Give him a little salute. Give him a little salute there. But uh, who's coming out here? Let's get Floats out here. Just Aqua Jet. Just hit him with the jet full of Aqua. And I kind of want to make a Float Soul Swift Swim team. That could be tough. But it does learn Swift Swim. Oh, I should use Aqua Jet. Oh, we still have speed anyway. I thought that was Aqua Jet. It was Waterfall. But hey. Oh, it's a quick one. She's a quick little otter. Or he's a quick little otter. This one's a, this one's male. This one is a lovely little male. We get the levels and we defeat Cyrus. And more importantly, we can now finally face off with Dialga. Yo, I legit thought we were going to walk up, maybe battle like one or two of those guys. Because I totally forgot we had to face off against everyone. And catch Dialga. But, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. We still grind. We still grind here. And I think Roman's going to come over here. But I can't move right now. Nope, it's Dawn and, and Rowan. Yeah, see, I was correct. Howdy, howdy, Professor Rowan. Yeah, I'm here catching this thing. And I'm pretty sure I bought like 50 Ultramons. I'm prepared. I'm 100% prepared. But you guys already know the deal. You guys already know the deal. Before you catch a Legendary, you always have to say it beforehand. You always have to say it beforehand. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to save for game right here. Because if you kill it or something like that, you could just, you know, soft reset and catch it again. But we ain't even going to kill it. We ain't even going to kill it. Are my Pokemon healed up? They're not. Ooh, ouch. Ouch, that's kind of rough. But I think we should be fine. We are going to lead. I mean, he is Togi. I mean, he is. Uh, he is. Uh, I'm going to keep my folds up top. But he is Steel type, so Togekiss wouldn't really handle it too well. But let's go up to this thing. And I love the little text feature on it. Like, it just said, like, a bunch of gibberish, a bunch of letters <laughs> for its noise that he makes. But well, there's my boy, Dialga. What's goody, dog? What's goody? Folds is going to poke here, and we going to get it. I think this thing's level 40. Right? I believe it's level 40. Let's see, he's exerting pressure. 47. Okay, so I ain't a bad level. We're just gonna hit this thing with a nice lovely waterfall. We should outspeed it. Get some chip damage on here. Maybe we can make it flinch. I know it's gonna be not very effective, but we're just chipping up some damage here. He's gonna go for roar time. That's looking scary. Hey! Floatzel, dipping out some damage. It's all good. You know what? We're just gonna go for this again. Try to get another flinch. Try to go for a flinch. Just, just try to get off as much damage as we possibly can. He must recharge. Awesome. We're going for it again. Waterfall, baby. Give me a flinch now. Give me a flinch. We're just constantly hitting up on this thing. Flinch him. Flash can. Bye, Floatzel. Thanks for popping out. So, Floatzel's going to go down here. Uh, who, should I, who should I go into? Who should I go into? I could go into Lucario, but I think going into, like, Togekiss here and dropping a Shockwave because I do not want to hit this thing too hard. I do not want to hit this thing too hard. I'm gonna drop a, sh a shockwave. Coverage move, so it's not gonna do too much. But we're just gonna start slowly chipping away at this thing's HP. Yeah, beautiful. I'm fine with that. HP power's gonna fly. And we'll, we'll be able to soak up that all day. Look at that. Easy eats. Do not get the stat boost. Thank you. And we're just gonna keep going for shockwaves. Shockwaves on deck, baby. I might hit it with one more shockwave. Versus, yeah, one more shockwave. We'll be perfect. Oh, we got a crit. We got a crit. Lovely. Lovely. Saves us some time here. So he's going to go for another Age of Power. Don't get the stat boost, please. That's all I'm asking. Do not get it. Awesome. Dope. Let's go for one more Shockwave. And then start throwing Ultra Balls at this thing. Then we can start hucking some mean Ultra Balls at this thing. Look at that. Got it down in the red. And, yo, before I start throwing Pokeballs, let me know in the comment section down below how many Pokeballs do you think it's going to take. I'm going to guess four. I'm going to guess four. But I have a feeling we're going to catch it on first because I'm just, I'm just like that. I'm just like that. Nope. We ain't like that. I'm guessing four. Four was my guess. There's one. This thing's just gonna start slowly chipping away. 
And now let's get ripping. Let's just get tossed and ultra balls. I probably should have healed up my old my whole team. But it is what it is. I can just get out my main man Torterra. He can bulk up some shots. And then I have like my Pokemon like Lucario and Houndoom in the back. So if I need to send revives, all that good stuff, then we can. But lucky number two coming out here. Come on, baby. Give me the shakes. Give me the shakes. Yes, sir. Give me two. Give mm. What you mean, dude? God dang, Dialga. This thing's going to go for a slash. That's easy soaks, dude. Easy soaks for my boy. All dang day. Here's lucky number three, yo. I call it four. I call it four. Come on, yo. Give me some shakes, baby. One. Mm, yo, next one's catch it, yo. Jeans called it. Jeans has called it. I can just end the video like now because you guys already know that this next one's going to catch it. Jeez, that did, some, that did some big damage to me. But it's all good. It's over with right here. Right here. I could throw my Master Ball if I want to. Let's see. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Slash going to poke out here. And I got to heal up my Torterra here. I got to heal up my lovely little Torterra. Torterra. Take a max potion. Get the full health, baby. Hope this thing goes for another slash or something like that. We max potion up. Let's just keep hucking some Pokeballs at this thing. Because, you know, I do not like to use Ultra Balls. Man. Or I don't like to use uh, Master Balls on Box Legendaries. I'm just not about it. I'm just not about it. Ultra Ball's going to pop. Come on, yo. Our guess of four did not work. Can five pop? Nope. He pops out. You buttery biscuit, yo. You buttery biscuit. Lucky number six on its way. Hopefully this thing just keeps going for slashes. Because like I said, we're just defensive bull. We can just soak a bunch of shots. This thing is just not budging. Not budging. No wiggles or anything. Ancient power's going to fly here. Might have to heal up again. Might have to heal up again. I think we can throw one more. I think we can throw one more. What is this? Lucky number seven here? Come on, baby. Come on. Yo, no wiggles. What you mean? If you're like Thunder Wave or something, he's going to slash. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to give myself a lovely little potion. Ortara, come here. Come here, big dog. Come here, big dog. Hyper potion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hyper potion poking out here. And we're getting all that HP. We're getting all that HP. This thing's going to go for slash. We soak. We are soaking. We are soaking. Oh, I do have synthesis. Totally forgot about that. We could just start using synthesis, but he might not speed me. That's my problem. But is this eight? I lost count. I think. I think this is eight. I think this is eight. Come on, baby. What you mean, dude? What, what is this thing doing? More times to come out here, and this actually scares me. I'm not even gonna lie. This scares me. Cool. Retire eats. And he's going to have to recharge, but we're just going to throw a Pokeball at him. And then we'll heal up next turn. Come on, catch it right here. He's recharging. Yes. Ah, dude. What was that? 10? I, I, I lost count. Like I said, I lost count. We don't really know where we're at. But back to the bag. Back to the healing process. Here you go, Torterra. Heal up. Heal up, big dog. All right. Let me focus in here. Stretch out the shoulders a little bit. Stretch out the Pokemon throwing arm here. Let's get it. Let's get it. He's going to slash me up. It's easy soaks all day, baby. Was that a crit? Get out of my face. All right. Here it is. The money tap. Right here. The money tap. Right here, guys. The money tap. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me a wiggle. Give me another one. God, dude. This thing is an absolute pain. This thing is an absolute pain. He's going to go for another slash. Wow, dude. I can't believe I called this thing on my first try in my, uh, my other playthrough. That's nuts. This thing is hard to catch. This thing is an absolute bear. Guys, it breaks my heart to do this, but we have to throw a Master Ball. We have to throw a Master Ball. All that we have left are Premier Balls and Master Balls. And all of our Ultra Balls are gone. We threw over 50-some Ultra Balls. So I'm, I'm done with the Premier Balls. We are going straight to the Master Ball. We're catching this Dialga right here, right now. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes just throwing Ultra Balls. Just keep throwing Ultra Balls at this thing. And this thing will not budge so if any of you guys guessed over a thousand ultra balls for your guests you guys win you guys win <laughs> so that's what it is that's what it is we finally catch Dialga. it's all good like i said i usually don't use master balls but this is my main playthrough so it's all good in my main playthrough i still have my master ball i always do that but for time reasons and you know just to make everything go smoother i'm gonna throw my ultra ball here i'm gonna or my master ball here it is all good but we catch that pokemon beautiful lovely we really don't need a master ball for any other pokemon it's really not a big deal I guess the only other Pokemon you would probably want a Mash Ball for would maybe be like Mesprint because it is an absolute pain to catch because it keeps running away, running away, but it's all good. It is all good. We catch a Dialga. We finish it up with this whole Team Galactic 
stuff and things and before we actually leave you guys want to actually head all the way to the back here because you can either grab your adamant orb or your uh the other pearl what do i don't even know or the other pearl no it's not the pearl the other orb it's like the adamant orb and uh spacious orb i forget but it boosts it boosts attack and stuff for your palky and all that good stuff which is awesome but i'm actually gonna head here you know what i'm gonna do can you fly out of here i wonder if you can i'm gonna try to fly out of here because our next destination is going to be heading towards this city I'm actually going to see if we can fly here. Can't use that here. I thought so. Good thing, you know, in the last episode, your boy bought lovely little escape ropes. 12 of them, to be exact. Oh, I got to go in the cave. I got to go in the cave to use this thing? Come on, yo. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. So we're just going to head to this cave, hit our bag, and then pop this little escape rope. But hey, yo, we call it the Alga. That's awesome. Let's start heading towards the 8th gym. Towards the 8th gym. And there we go. Brings us to Route 207. And now we can fly since we are right here. And yo, look, our Lucario's here. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. But we have to make our way towards, what's the saying? Sunny Shore City, yo. I love that name. I love that name. But yo, solid episode so far. I didn't realize how much time we would actually spend up in that with that the whole Dialga thing. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's head down to the next route and get rocking with this uh, main story again. Because I actually don't think we're going to be able to make it through the route. I think we're going to maybe like half it, do a, do a couple battles in there. And then, you know, pop off after that. And then go towards uh, the 8th gym and beat it in the next episode. So I think everything's going to work out for her. For the better here. I think everything's fine. But yeah, I did not realize, hey, we have a double battle, 6v6. We have all this other stuff. But let me actually throw my Lucario to the front here. Let's give Lucario a little bit of love in here. Let's give Lucario a little bit of love in. And I want to see if we have Flash Cannon as a TM. We might. We might. Let's see. Cut. Combine. Blah, blah, blah. Dig. Brine. Surf. Fly. Shadow Claw. Flash Cannon. There it is. Beautiful. We have five of them from, uh, I think, the sixth gym leader. Yeah. Over in Canalave City gave, gives it to you. We need five of them. And like I said, since we are using this thing on a special attack build now, we're giving it Flash Cannon. So Flash Cannon, Aurora Spear, and I don't know what other moves I should rock out with this thing. But we'll figure it out. It does have Nasty Pot on it, so. Maybe we'll keep Nasty Pot, because, you know, once this thing sets up, it is nasty. Outspeeds a lot. If I have a bulk and special attack, this thing is just going to be able to piece up. Especially with the modest nature, it's lovely all around. But... We have to hop on our bike, and we have to get moving here. We have to get moving all the way down to, which is like the hotel resort area. I don't even know what it's called. And then to the right, because the path is now open for uh, for the route to get to Sunny Shore City. That's awesome. It's awesome. And I do not have a rappel roll, which I'm kind of annoyed at, because I have a feeling once we step in this grass. Once we step in this grass right here. What did I say? What did I say? Once we step in the grass, and of course it's a babero. Like, couldn't have been any worse. Couldn't have been any worse. Lucario's chilling here. He does a nice little roar and everything. He looks sick. He's just gonna run this. Babirol ain't worth our time. Ain't nobody got time for Babirols, man. No Babirols. We ain't got no time for that. But we make our way all the way up to this route or this resort area. And now we can hit a hard right here. And this path is open. Route 222. Route 222, baby. And we get to show off Lucario in a couple battles. So that's how we're gonna finish off today's video. We're just gonna be doing a couple battles on the route. And then in the next episode, we're gonna be completing the route and completing the 8th gym as well. Which is dandy. Luxio's gonna fly out here. Yo, my boy Lucario's got this. And I wonder what level these things are on. Maybe 39? They should be higher than Lucario, but if they're not, that's, I guess that's good. I don't know. Inner focus blocks intimidate, even though we're physical attacking. And this thing's 43, so yeah, so it has a decently high level. We can pop some Aurora Spears. We do outspeed it all day. And we should do at least half damage, right? Way more than that. Good work. Good work, Lucario. So this thing's gonna start getting a heap amount of XP, but it takes a lot of damage. It does take a lot of damage. We're just going to try to see what we can do with this thing. Let's go here. He's going to bite me. Can we eat that? Yeah, all day. All day. It's not very effective. It's not very effective. Roar Spear pops. Give me that XP, baby. Give me that XP. I'm a little upset I had to use my Master Ball. But I kid you not, we threw like 50. 50 Ultra Balls. Every single Ultra Ball we had, I threw. And I think the most shakes I got was two. Most shakes I got was two, and that was like twice. It was always just popping out instantly or one shaking and popping out. But most of the time, it wouldn't even wiggle. I was just like, bro, this is noxious this is annoying get this out of my face but we gotta heal up our boy we have to heal up our boy uh let me see some where are my potions over here potions can go for a max potion here and i do have a paralyzed heal i should have just gave that thing a, a hyper potion but it is what it is it is what it is but let's get rolling out here let's get after it uh should i defeat those guys now we're gonna go up to this top path right here have a little fun with this lady over here howdy Howdy, howdy, howdy. But this route's actually rather small. It's actually super, super small. But there's a decent amount of trainers. But you do not have to battle all of them, obviously. They're easy to just walk around. 
But Low Pony's gonna pop. Yo, my boy Lucario is about to piece up on this poor Low Pony. Get it, Lucario. Maybe he can get his first one hit KO. Let's do it. Aurora Spear, super effective. Do him dirty. And Low Pony's definitely gonna outspeed us. But double kick, we soak. We soaked that all day. We soaked that all day. Low Pony, I'm sorry I have to do this to you, but big old Aurora Spear popping through. Yeah. Hey. Send it. And no, not a one hit KO. Can she kill me? She can. She ain't gonna go for a double kick. Oh, we outspeed. Okay. Oh, I guess it was a speed tie. We take that. I'll take it all day. Get on her, get her on out of here. Get her on out of here. Get her on out of here. Oh, beautiful. Anybody gonna level up? My boy Lucario and Houndoom does as well. Houndoom, you wanna learn a move? I have a feeling you do. He does not. He does not. Good work, Lucario. Good work. But yeah, we're basically like almost on this route. And I, I'm not even kidding with you guys. I think it's just like up here. Yeah, like look at this. Like we're, we're like almost here. There's a cop. Let's see if I can dip him out. Actually, I'll battle him. It's fine. <laughs> I want to battle one more trainer, but legit like the end of the route's right up to the right. It's not a long route at all, but we're going to defeat this cop right here. And then we're actually going to be calling it a video and completing everything in the next episode. He's going to send out a knock talent. And I think I'm going to just let my Lucario die here. It ain't no big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not... It ain't no big deal, but we could probably get off a nice lovely flash cannon. What does more damage? This never misses, but this has a chance to lower special attack. So I dig it. Flash cannon gonna poke. Yo. Give me special special defense drop. Uproar's gonna poke. We can eat up an uproar. I know that. Good work. We eat up an uproar, but we know he's gonna cause an he's cause an uproar, so he's gonna throw another one at us, and we don't like that. We don't like that. Flash cannon coming in hot. Yo. And can he miss or something? Goes for another uproar and Lucario. It was nice knowing you, buddy. It was nice knowing you. He's out for the count. It's all good. It is all good, yo. But solid video. Solid video, if I do say so myself. We just got a lot done. We got, we got a good amount done. Not like main game wise, but like for this playthrough, we call it Diaga and we evolved Lucario. I just see that as two main big things, you know? Just great all around. But we're going to send our Air Slash because I love the way Air Slash actually looks. And we're going to take out Noctowl. Let him know that we're the better flying type. Even though Noctowl is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I'll say. Pretty cool, but there's a lot better birds than Noctowl, you know? The choke's gonna come out here, so we're just definitely gonna keep a flying type out here. Drop a nice, lovely air slash, and that is gonna one tap. That is going to one tap easily. No problem whatsoever. Air slash, yoink. Send it on him. Built, and he out of here. Get him on out my game. Get him on out my game. Imagine if real life was like this. Like, you get pulled over by a cop. You're just like, all right, we'll have a Pokemon battle. If you win, I get the ticket. If I win, you could skedaddle and get on out my face and let me go. <laughs> That's how it should be. That is how life should be. You have a Pokemon battle with police officers instead of court cases. I think that's how it should be. I think that is how it should be. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be completing this route, defeating all the trainers and all that good stuff. And then heading towards Sunny Shore, right? Sunny Shore City? Yeah, Sunny Shore City and defeating the eighth and final gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.